Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. Today we're going to be talking about again 3D Presso which I used to scan this buzz light here figuring over here on the right hand side and then on the left hand side you can see buzz light here in the Unreal Engine and uh, that's the end, the end result. <laughs> so this is an exciting project guys. I've been trying to like scan different types of toys and I think I've finally come up with a like a workflow that I find that is helpful and I hope it can help you as well. So what I've done is I've actually put the pe the character on a pedestal. Initially I tried to scan uh, using just walking around the figure itself but that didn't give me the best result. So, But if I put it on a pedestal and just uh, hold my camera still or even on a tripod and then move up and down just like you see here I'm able to get much better results. And then when the character is ready, once the model is ready I bring it into a Blender like you see right here and then I'm able to extract that base just cut it out using a boolean operation okay and then I tend to uh, one of the steps that I do is I send this to 3ds Max just for a little bit of cleanup and alignment and then I'm able to send it to um, Actaco Accurig for rigging and when I'm and I've shared a video prior to this of how I did that and then once the character is done rigging then I send it to uh, iClone over here. So in iClone I use a plugin called the Unreal Live Link, right? And this plugin enables you to send not just the model but the animation as well. It has been updated, so make sure you're using the most recent version. And uh, it, once you are ready for your model, apply the animation that you want. For me, this is the animation that I, put, I picked. I wanted Buzz Lightyear to walk around, you know, like he owns a space. But he's still curious. You know, where am I right now? <laughs> because in the movie, this this new this Buzz Lightyear character comes from the uh, Pixar movie, and it really it doesn't look like the original one in terms of uh, the cartoon. They made it a little bit more realistic. But this is a figure in an action figure based on that movie. That's why he's not wearing green. Uh, okay, and so this is the animation that I wanted to add. So he's looking around and I also wanted to have like a kid's room. So what you see in the Unreal Engine is an HDRI backdrop right here and it's using this image which is a skybox. So if I were to pause here, let me actually switch to a different camera. Let's go to this one. You can actually look around and it's a 360 degree skybox and this was also generated using AI and that's uh, from uh, Blockade Labs. So that is the amazing thing is that you can combine AI to bring content into the Unreal Engine. In this case it is the 360 degree uh, like skybox that makes it a really really cool because I wanted to tell a story. I wanted to put this in a setting where it looks like it would actually belong. And then for the lighting, I just put a few rectangular lights, one coming from uh, on this side and another coming from the other side. Let me put on the click in the here, press G and uh, I can look around. So if I select my light, you can actually see one of the lights uh, coming from this side, casting a little bit of a green tint and then another rectangular light coming from this side to simulate the light. And then I do have a, let's see, a directional light that is acting as the sunlight that's coming through the window. So if I wanted to do even more, I mean, I could go take it another level, I would put like a, some kind of a image with a, like this shadows of the window to simulate the shadows on Buzz Lightyear right here. But just as a quick test, I want to just show you how you could light this up. And let me rewind it so you can actually see how it blends nicely in that. <laughs> okay. But the main thing is that in iClone over here, this is the reason why I'm pointing out uh, the Unreal Engine is because of the live, like this is a real time lighting, guys. You know, this is not rendered, this is real time. And I could actually just uh, record this, you know, like for example, with OBS and have like a tech. I just have to do this in full screen, like uh, press F11 
like that make sure that the ui elements are gone and then just record that right and if i play back you can see that it's a nice sequence <laughs> right so that's the cool thing about the unreal engine so the reason why I, I again i point that out is this plugin the unreal live link makes it possible for you to send content from iClone, including this buzz light your character in in addition to the model you can able to you're able to send the motion itself so i sent them scene I want to make sure to check the I include motion over here and I put to just uh, 30 frames per second. You can do 60 frames per second if you want. And you can also do 24 frames. If you want to do like a like stop motion kind, you could do 12 frames per second. Okay. And then make sure you indicate the range, right? This range of the animation that you see from here to here. That is the range of the animation. I wanted to make sure I, if you don't include that, if you just do current frame and then you send this file, it won't have animation there will be like a file but it will be like a, almost like a one frame file but make sure you enable range and i also just selected the props cameras and lights because i wanted to write using the unreal engine and then make sure you select the character itself over here okay and then over here on the timeline if i expand it you can uh, let me also frame it to fit to window so you can see the end point of the animation right here and that's the beginning part of it okay so that's the full animation and you can play it back here and you can see and when you're happy with the animation do any edits that you want right so for example if uh buzz light here right if the arm is like going into his side right here let me go to the beginning press uh, j to focus in on him and you can come up here go to edit motion layer uh, select the hand control over here make sure you're in the first frame and just push this out ever so slightly like that and close and guess what that has been fixed and now you can send that full animation to the unreal engine and buzz lighter will have that so when you're ready just click transfer and then that transfer process takes, uh, depending on the speed of your computer, that transfer may take a little bit of time or it might just, just fly. And you can also, even after you've done this, like if you wanted to do additional animations, you can deselect the scene and just send just the motion itself, right? And that is, it's so helpful. <laughs> so you could just keep populating the same because now it recognizes the rig in the Unreal Engine, you'll be able to go to the project. Uh, let's go, let's click out of uh, full screen mode over here. And in the content folder, uh, you see how by, so when it sends the file over here, it this is the folder that you're gonna see. You will name it according to Buzz Light here, depending on the file name that you have. And then it will put it into the, realization content folder okay so buzz light here is over here and the file when i'm adding animation in to the uh, sequencer uh, usually what i go is i do is i go to the motion file over here and this is a file that i actually drag into my scene right right now you can see it's really big <laughs> but that's the correct size of the the avatar that was scanned but you can still go over here and change the size of the character so let's go let's expand this a tiny bit more so you can see it make sure this is locked right and then i'm just gonna say like 0 0.5 uh point maybe 0.3 right doesn't matter what size you want you can set it and then i'm able to add this to the sequencer and i'll bring up my sequencer over here let me see if I can expand this a little bit more. And I can't see that very well, but anyway, let me see if I can. So once you the character is selected over here, uh, let me maximize this, maybe it'll be better. Okay, so, and let's expand this a little bit more so you can see it. So once you've added the character, just uh, drag and drop over here and then uh, rewind to the first frame and under the animation tab click on that and that animation is going to show up so if i enable that 
guess what this character is going to work with the same way as the other one so that is that that's what's really amazing with a live link plugin is that you're able to send the character as well as the model and then you can keep adding more animation right like if he wants to jump or if he has like a back like a power back he's <laughs> gonna like half up or oh, he can shoot <laughs> shoot up this room if he wants to and maybe even interact with other toys so you could even if you have like other toy story toys you could actually scan them and then bring them in here and it all starts with this little thing right here so i'll put a link in, uh, uh, to the this little device i bought it from amazon so you can actually if you want you can buy it yourself and then uh just uh, make sure that as you're recording just light it really well you know just uh, do a little bit of uh, like bounce lighting wherever you want because it does help it does make a difference uh, but I've one I've figured I think one thing that I found out was that when I try to walk around, I would then capture the shadows on the other side. But this one, because it's moving at a very slow rate, and you can actually increase the speed if you want to, but slow is better because then it gives it more time to capture that detail, right? And that's how I was able to get this result. And here, what is really cool. Ah, so now what's left is really just about storytelling, right? I can go to another shot over here and you can do cuts, you know, so that you can see, you know, buzz light coming into frame. Well, look at that. <laughs> so cool, right? And you can have multiple cameras or this camera is over here. And then I also have another camera over here. So, and then you're able to capture and record and put together a sequence that is really cool. And that is really what I wanted to share with you guys. So thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, man, I'm so happy that I, I, uh, Corey Williams was able to bring this to our attention. But uh, it's really, really, really cool. And I highly, highly encourage you guys that if you have any toys, I know your kids are going to be looking at you crazy like, what, dad, mom, what are you doing? Why are you playing with our toys? But you tell them, you know, it's for storytelling. It's for a good purpose. You can do it. <laughs> but anyway. And also, so AI, I used uh, the 3D Presso AI to do the video, to uh, take this video from uh, just a video to a 3D model. And then I used uh, the Blockade Labs AI to create the interior of the 360 degree. So you can imagine you don't have to model this, right? You just have to create like a 360 degree skybox and create shots out of that. So if you want to create a short film and you want to make it look like Pixar style, this is one way to do it. Okay? And uh, <laughs> keep creating, guys. Look at that. So cool. It's a buzz. And then one thing that I encourage you to do is like as you're adjusting these cameras, why look as I'm holding on the middle mouse button, and I'm actually stretching. I'm going up and down. This is a cool thing about the, the HDRI backdrop in the Unreal Engine is that it has that flexibility. Like now I've made, fi fixed that little part right there, but you see that little, like uh, almost like a, a line. That's where the, uh, the skybox is bent. So if you wanted to do another shot, make sure that you correct that and then do your, your shot right but make sure that you fix the other ones as well so uh, even as you're adding your camera make sure that you adjust those things but there you go you have like a pixel style environment and it looks awesome <laughs> and then you can add animation have like a whole army of uh you know characters walking around that is so neat all right thank you so much guys that's always dare to dream big uh, let's just uh, always uh, find a way to tell our stories uh, authentically, you know, something unique. But if you have toys or if you can model your own toys, you have like clay that you can you have the ability to uh, model in clay. This is one way to bring them to life and you're able to rig them, animate them in uh, iClone over here. Add all manner of that. And then there, if you have access to actor code, there's like a whole bunch of animations that you could use. And I also in the description with this video is this the link uh, for the Unreal Live Link plugin, so you can check it out. And I also add the other links uh, so you can you know use utilize the same things that I did and bring. So I can't wait to see what you guys make. <laughs> is my buzz light here? And I have another set of toys that I've, I've brought uh, from the store that I want to try out and make like a, a short story. 
Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Stay blessed and bye for now.